Hey everybody, we are gonna be making some no tans today, uh, which are something similar to this. We're looking at positive and negative space and conserving these and making works balanced. So I thought that since it was St. you know, it's bound to be St. Patrick's Day, we could do um, a four leaf clover. So I just wanted to show you how I would draw that. It's, oh, this one is not my best one, let's be honest, but it's okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm actually going to draw two lines because I want for us to see the effect that this has. Um, I drew one of these on this side already, but um, I just wanted to show you the process. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to cut these out um, the best that I can. And so when you're cutting these, you want to make sure that none of your pieces get lost. Like all of these pieces need to stay how they are. You need to, um, you know, just just be sure that you're not like throwing throwing any pieces away because because you need all of them for this type of design to work all right so also one thing to be aware of is that um what we're doing today is meant to just be like an introduction like a sorry like a practice version of this and so you know these designs don't necessarily need to be very complicated it's just Okay, we're just giving it a try um, because tomorrow and Thursday, what we'll do is to make something that's more of like an actual picture. All right, so here we go. Um, cutting, cutting. When I cut, I try to use both my hands. So one hand is operating the scissors and the other hand is sort of moving the paper around. All right, so I'm gonna keep that, keep that. Let's cut the other one as we, as we are able. All right. Um, you are free to do whatever design you want for this. And I, you know, I just wanted to say, um, you know, think of something that you're going to be comfortable with cutting. I am not doing anything that's like not, a t everything that I'm cutting, excuse me, is attached to the edge. And, um, that means I don't have anything that's just like a little circle randomly in the middle of the green space. Uh, everything is, is like, I'm able to cut it you know, directly from the edge of the paper. I also want to just say like, hey, I'm not doing my best. I, I'm trying to do this more quickly so you don't have to watch me for so long. Uh, so when you're cutting these, you know, try to do a little bit better with, um, you know, sticking with your lines. All right. So what I'm going to do actually is pretend that I'm putting these in my sketchbook. And all right, I am going to also place everything back how I had it just now. Um, so I'm going to be putting these in here. I think this one goes there. And they they do need to match up exactly like where they came from if you're doing more than one. If you just wanted to do this on one side, that's also okay. Um, but okay. And and I think it's a good idea to start with everything back how it, how it began in this way. Um, and I would also recommend, you know, putting this in the middle. Okay, so um, what I'm actually going to do is take this middle piece and flip it outward. It is just literally going this way. It's not It's not rotating, so I'm just um, flipping it outward. And so what we can see is that when I have these, you know, center pieces whoops, flipped outward, that, um, let me fix it and then I'll explain. Okay, so when I have these center pieces kind of flipped outward, what I'm able to do is to see... Um, like all of all of this space is now being used. So this is a good example of, you know, using positive and negative space in such a way that it's balanced. And again, this is meant to be something that is a practice design. Um, what we'll work on for tomorrow and Wednesday will be something, you know, more complicated, like this might be an example. But for today, we just wanna get used to, you know, the experience of cutting paper, seeing how the effects of this um, you know, play out in real life. So that's our goal.